Welcome back to Vikings Game Plan from the TCO Studios. It's Paul Allen and the winning formula. Ron Johnson, Fox 9. Pete Bursich, former player and coach for the Vikings, analyst for the Vikings Radio Network. And this is the winning formula into the final game this season against the Green Bay Packers. The identity of the Packers is that of quarterback Aaron Rodgers. Pete, we begin with you. Is this the best overall Aaron Rodgers ever has played? Well, I, I mean, the numbers sure support it. Um, he's playing as well as he ever has, and I think with the evolution of, of the game, with the, with, the, with the penalties and the lack of physicality, not being able to hit the quarterback, yes, he, he is getting there. The most impressive part is, is he has a disappointing day against Tampa Bay, and then he comes back, and unfortunately, the Texans were the next team that they played, and he played almost as perfect of a game against the Texans as you've seen him play. So it's his ability to bounce back when things aren't going well that makes him the man and the quarterback that he is today. Now, fundamentally, he's a disaster. You watch him throw, he's off the back foot, he's sidearm, but he, he's just so confident and so physically gifted, he's able to do things that, let's face it, most other quarterbacks can't do. Ron? Yeah, Paul, I mean, Cy Amundsen's not here, so I'm gonna channel my inner Cy. I mean, if there's a guy that can break up with Olivia Munn, can break up with Danica Patrick, and then you just say, off the field, mm. worst decision maker ever. But on the field, Paul, great decision maker. Why? You look at Matt LaFleur. What does Matt LaFleur do? He doesn't draft a receiver in the first round. T. Higgins, I mean, Jalen Rager, uh, you got Justin Jefferson. He could have went and got anybody. He goes out and gets Jordan Love, who's not going to play this year, and then you go get a running back. That's why, yes, I'd say he is having the best, but it's not just him. It's the fact of how the offense has been created this offseason and the fact that now he's saying, okay, I'm comfortable. I'm okay that you guys drafted who you drafted. I get what you're trying to get. Pete, can we count on a Cousins bounce back off that Atlanta disaster like guaranteed? Well, I, I don't know if anything in this world is guaranteed, but we do know a couple things that Cousins has to play better. All right, and number two is he has not played well against these Green Bay Packers. He has to figure that out, Paul. He's got to figure out what he needs to do to have a great game and what the offense needs to do. And I think that's why it starts with Dalvin Cook. Having that guy behind him is going to help him. But it's, it's the pressure that he gets when he plays the Green Bay Packers that makes him uncomfortable. He, he doesn't feel good in the pocket with guys like Zadaria Smith chasing him down. He's going to have to find a way, Paul, to settle down, take his shots deep, but at the same time be as efficient as possible because he just doesn't play well against this uh, green and yellow defense. And Ron, back to 2018, I mean, he put uh, Stephon Diggs on a 75-yard touchdown at Lambeau precision perfection front right of the end zone Thielen he has done it at Lambeau before in order for Kirk to be successful he has to be in third and short more than often and if he's in third and eight third nine and you let these Smith brothers back up and just say you know what I know you got a pass we're coming third long this is what Green Bay's defense wants and now you add Kamal Martin back who can move who can run and a linebacker who knows how to get up to the quarterback that adds another wrinkle to this Green Bay defense you know Zadarius probably will lead Green Bay in sacks well for the Vikings they trade Yannick Ngakwe during the bye week, he had five sacks. So if Fadio Denebo leads the team right now with two and a half sacks, Pete, you first. End of the equation, who leads the Vikings in sacks this year? Well, I, I think it's a Fadio Denebo. Uh, but then again, Eric Wilson, man, he ha he's just sneaky good at blitzing. He has the timing, he has the quickness. I don't think that uh, offenses look for him to block like Anthony Barr. When they saw Anthony Barr walk up, they're saying, all right, we need to account for this guy. I think Eric Wilson's able to use his quickness and speed and his nose for the football. Uh, but I think because of the consistency, the rushing play after play after play, I think Afadi Adenabo is, gonna, is going to end up being the sack leader on this team. I have to agree with Pete on that. I'm going to say Afadi, but I'm going to pick a dark horse as well. DJ Wanham, yeah. guy out of South Carolina. If you look at what he did in college, he was able to line up in the A-gap and still loop around the end. So that's a guy that Mike Zimmer... He likes that kind of stuff, A-gap type blitzes. If Mike Zimmer gets creative, because now at this point, there's nothing left to do but get creative, and lets DJ Wanna move around, he could actually be the dark horse sack leader this year. We at Vikings Game Plan hope you win every game the rest of the year. But if you only win one, make it this one against Green Bay. For Ron Johnson and Pete Bursich, I'm Paul Allen from the TCO Studios. And on behalf of the impeccable Vikings Entertainment Network, that's Vikings Game Plan. Beat the Packers, come on.